it's hard yeah. not to watch it as a libertarian and you know get get the old uh, blood pumping. We've got a <laughs> few clips from his recent appearance on uh, Tucker Carlson's show on X.com in September following his first place finish. Es decir, eso es lo que quiero que quede claro. Los socialistas tienen las manos manchadas de sangre. Todo el tiempo tienen manchadas las manos de sangre. No les alcanzó are you, con... Are you arguing that socialists commit bloodshed because they believe they are God? Porque ellos se creen que son Dios. Es decir, son unos herejes. Es decir, por eso Hayek en su último libro, esto lo llamó la fatal arrogancia. Es decir, porque para coordinar todo este tipo de acciones, la cantidad de conocimiento que hay que tener y eso está vinculado a otro artículo de Hayek que se llama El uso del conocimiento en la sociedad, donde da una forma más científica y profunda de la idea de la mano invisible, de Adam Smith, lo que dice es que para poder aplicar el socialismo es necesario que las personas que lo hagan deban ser omniscientes, omnipresentes y omnipotentes. Es decir creen que son Dios. Y le voy a contar algo. No son Dios. Y le voy a decir algo peor. Son tan miserables y tan rastreros los políticos, y en especial los de izquierda, que además están debajo de las personas promedio. Porque solamente... ¿Quién va a pretender ser igual al promedio? Solo el que está por debajo. Por lo tanto, es la agenda de los envidiosos. La envidia es un pecado capital. De eso nada bueno puede salir. Del asesinato nada bueno puede salir. Del robo nada puede salir. It's it's you know it's exciting to hear a political candidate pulling from Hayek books and essays and packaging it in this really fiery attitude. Uh, but how much do you think? that this really these really visceral ideological attacks on socialism explain his appeal in Argentina is that something that actually resonates with the average voter so i think that uh, resonates with his base uh, and okay. i think you know that there's a very um, there's a very interesting feature in that clip which is the sort of christian language you know that he uses when he talks about heretics and and capital sins you know mm -hmm. and and i think Um, I'm not sure about this, but I think this is part of a strategy um, in which Millet is trying to um, sort of appeal to uh, religious people because they know, because he knows that if they believe in him, they will follow him, you know, no matter what, uh, no matter what. And, and that's, you know, I think he considers that uh, important for his political campaign, but I understand how that could make a lot of people think that he's not a true libertarian, that, you know, that he's actually uh, a Trumpian candidate or a, a Bolsonaro version uh, mm -hmm. of Argentina. Um, but I think, you know, going back to, to the, the question of his, you know, ideology and what does that have to do with his success? Um, I would say that Millet um, owes his success uh, mostly to Argentina's failed economic policies, really. Because we are in a country that has not grown in something like 15 years. You know, we've been going from recession to recession. Inflation has been, um, you know, increasing year to year. And people feel like um, they have tried it all. You know, that they have tried Peronism, that they have tried anti-Peronism back when Mafi was in power, and that nothing has worked. And so people, for example, young people, Um, a boy who's like 20 years old. He was born in 2003. Um, everything he's seen, you know, everything this person remembers of Argentina's political life or, and economic life is failure, you know? And so what they're thinking is, what does my future look like in this country? It doesn't look good, you know? And so this person, what they want is they want to leave Argentina. And we're actually seeing that, you know? I have many, many friends who have gone abroad. And many who and many don't think that they will return to Argentina. Um, and where do they you go? see, you know, well, they go 
So in Argentina, it's, it's typical that many people have um, some sort of European citizenship, you know, uh, yeah. because of our heritage. Many people have uh, an Italian passport or a Spanish passport, and so they go to Europe. Um, some of or them go German. to the U.S. We too. We don't talk about that. Just kidding. Yeah, that's true. That's true, <laughs> too. <laughs> uh, but, you know, an overwhelming majority is either Italian or Spanish. There are yeah. some Germans, too, but they're not as many. Some imagine how, US, that's, imagine yeah. how bad of an economic situation it must be to be like, I'm going to leave Argentina and go to Italy or Spain, right? Like not exactly countries known for their industriousness and productivity and participation in the right. labor force, right? Like, not right, ideal, right, but right. apparently better. Yeah. So, and so I think, you know, Millet feeds on that, basically, you know, mm -hmm. on the lack of hope of the people. And that's why he sort of presents himself as a savior, basically. And this yeah. can be, you know, this can be uh, interpreted in religious terms too. You know, he, I mean, he, he's never going to present himself as God, of course, and he's criticizing people who think that they're God, but he's sort of, you know, trying to present himself to people and particularly, you know, uh, lower class people, people who have lost all hope that he will restore, you know, Argentina. And, and you can see when I talk about this, I think, I, I even think about how this can be related to Trump, you know, when he was talking about, you know, make America great again. Um, I think, well, you guys know more about Trump than I do. Uh, I don't think America was never great, really. But in this case, it is true that Argentina has lost something. You know, Argentina mm. used to be one of the richest countries in the world. And now it's just average, basically. You know, we don't his do attempt, that well. His attempt to lay this at the feet of socialism and socialists, is that something that excites people or that res that they resonate right. with? Um, is that something that kind of haunts the political landscape, wh whatever effect socialism has had on Argentina? Because I know we talked about Peronism and it's, it's a little different. It's this kind of hybrid, but... How does that factor into the political landscape? Right. So I think his, um, you know, his campaign against socialism, uh, everything he says against socialism um, is is something that, of course, he believes uh, mm -hmm. and that his base also believes, particularly uh, the young people, you know, students, uh, people under 25 or under 30. I don't think that's something that resonates among um, lower class people. It, for them, I think the message uh, that Millet is getting to them is that whatever is happening to them is the fault of uh, the political establishment, um, which he calls uh, casta. Uh, right. Cast may be the word in English. I'm not sure. Yes. Um, but he talks about the political caste. You know, he, he says, he tells people that everything is uh, the fault of the political caste and that he is coming to drain the swamp, you know, like Trump did um, right. back then in, in the U.S. Um, his message against socialism in particular, I think that excites uh, a few people, not not the majority of his voters, but a key, you know, a key group that is, for example, the group that uh, takes the lead on social media the group that yeah. sort of sets the agenda on social media. And so when you go on Argentine social media, you will see that influencers, for example, uh, that like Millet and talk against socialism are hugely popular, which is yes. strange, you know, because that's not, that's not a thing outside of social media, really. Yeah. Um, and it makes it look like it's, you know, this generalized thing, you know, this generalized opposition to socialism. Uh, which I don't think exists. Hey, thanks for watching that clip of our talk with Marcos Falcone about the presidential candidacy of Javier Millet. You can watch the full conversation here or another clip over here.